Sports. Let's go out to Robert Scoble. He is live via video. Our good hey, friend, how you doing? Hey, Robert. Nice to see you. Thanks for dialing in this afternoon. Yep. Got my National Geographic right here, right ready <laughs> for the new tablet. <laughs> Look at that. So you, uh, you're via video. This is amazing here. Can we go between these two shots? I don't know if it's possible in our booth right now. We've got Robert on video, which is a new system we're using here. And we've got Michael on Skype, and I just want you to see the difference. Look at that. <laughs> Michael, I think Robert looks a little better. <laughs> Robert always looks better than I do. <laughs> in, in real life and in virtual. Oh, oh, oh wow. Oh, uh, there he is. <laughs> so, Robert, what do you have got set up back there? That's your, yeah, the National Geographic setup. That was that whole hard drive that was released a few weeks ago, right, filled with every National Geographic issue? Yeah, it's, it's 65 gigs on a hard drive, so you can... Um, Look at every issue made through last year. Wow, all through last year, but, but like for all the way up until last year, right? Yeah, it's like 75 years. And you can see every like page. And just kind of giving us an idea of how we might begin to think about using this tablet device, uh, Robert. What's your sense? Just you're sort of playing with that on your on your uh, your iMac there. Do you think this is going to be one of the best case use scenarios for this device? I I think it starts here. Um, actually, I was at uh, Matayo in San Francisco, and they do um, augmented reality on top of uh, physical goods. So they did the Le Lego system. When you go into a store, you hold the box in front of their camera, and a, and a virtual image of their uh, Lego pops out of the box. So imagine you could have that on the tablet where something could pop out of the National Geographic that would explain right. more of what you're seeing, you know, video or a 3D model or something like that.